let's cover all the changes coming in Dialogic 0.9. I moved the dialog node, which is the one that you use on your scene, to the root folder of the add-on, so it's easier to find. I added a link to the online documentation directly from the editor. Right now it doesn't have a lot of information, it's more the information about how the plugin works, but I will keep updating it regularly. I refactored a lot of code and continued splitting the main plugin code into smaller pieces. I did a lot of work here, it's hard to show, but hopefully it will translate to having less bugs in the plugin itself. I rewrote most of the saving and branching systems, so if you were having issues with that, you should expect it to be much more stable right now. I added the new tool, the glossary editor, which in this recording that I have, it's a bit broken, but a few hotfixes are coming out. You're now able to write XLR for any word and Dialogic will create a hover card with that information. You can create also strings and number variables from this glossary interface and you can access them either using the conditionals or by the new Dialogic class. I will cover that later in the video. Portrait changes are reflected in-game. This wasn't happening before, but now it is. And there has been a lot of small improvements on how they display and the order in which the events happen. The theme editor has a new section for the glossary font and a color for the words highlighted. I will keep adding stuff here, but for now it's a minimal thing that you can edit. And now the biggest changes come to the timeline editor. I color coded most of the events in the same category to avoid having a distracting rainbow in the screen. You will see that all the events in the same category has the same color so you can recognize what kind of action they are performing. I renamed the end branch file names to match the name of the event. This means that if you have some timelines created in 0.8 you will have to update them and I will keep breaking compatibility until the version 1.0 is out. Then I will make it so that Dialogic will update this automatically for you from version to version. There is a new event called set value, which will change the value of a glossary variable inside your conversations. Right now this will reset whenever the dialogue closes, but in the future you will be able to save those values in a save game, so if you change some of the stats and you want to keep track of those during several playthroughs, you will be able to do that. There's a new event called emit signal. This event will make the dialog node emit a signal called dialogic signal. If you want to do some extra code whenever something happens in your dialog, you can do so in GDScript and have the full flexibility of the Godot engine. There's a new event called change scene. So we had the change timeline before, now we have the change scene, which will change the current scene to whatever you pick. This will happen right now instantly, but in the future I will add some transition effects so it's not that abrupt. Another new event which is called wait seconds. This event will hide the dialogue, wait x amount of seconds and then continue with the rest of the timeline. The text event now resize vertically when you are writing. So at the beginning when I announced Dialogic I said that this was going to be a feature but I implemented it just now. So each new line will create a different dialogue, that way you don't have to repeat over and over and over again the same event in your timeline. I renamed the copy timeline ID right click menu option to copy timeline name, since now you don't have to use the ID anymore, so this is more handy if you are doing it via code. So about the new dialogic class. With this class you can add dialogues from code easily, so you can do like this, new dialogue, dialogic start and the name of your timeline as a string and then you can add that dialogue into your scene. To connect signals, you can also do something like this, which is pretty basic if you've been using Godot. There has been a lot of backstage changes that I made and a lot more will come, but these are the big changes. And I'm really excited because Dialogic is more stable than ever. And I really see version 1.0 being released very soon. I've also been creating a lot of tickets in GitHub. If you want to follow the progress, you can do it there and I would really like to thank my Patreons. A lot of you have come recently to support me doing Dialogic, which I really appreciate. So a big shout out to all of you. And if you're considering contributing to the project, I'm always happy to review your pull requests. Thank you everyone again. I know that most of the people have left already the video, but if you're still there, thank you. See you soon. Take care and bye.